Hi everyone, this is Sherry. We are back to my channel. I haven't updated for over two months, and today I want to share with you guys my life from May to the Dragon Boat Festival. I have seen many sunsets and flowers during the past two months, and I've taken photos and videos to record them. Here are two planes I saw when I was on a spring outing with my students. And now you can see actually I was on a tram car. And it was pretty cool. And this clip was taken on Mother's Day. I was walking with my parents in the park. Another afterglow. Now I was on my way back to my campus. I was about to attend a thesis oral defense. It was more like a rehearsal one, and I have to take the final thesis oral defense by the end of this year. After several hours of torture, I ordered a takeout to refresh myself. Now I was having a fried chicken, but I think it was kind of dry and it was hard to chew. So it was not that good, but it was eatable. After dinner, I was taking a walk with my roommate and I found that it was really nice that day and our campus was really beautiful. And these flowers will be changed uh, every several weeks, I guess. Now I was seeing some swans swimming across the river. Look, another beautiful sunset. And here are some peacocks on my campus. Uh, they are very rare, but I was unable to distinguish their gender. We happened to see a black swan drinking the water. How lovely it was! Now let's move on to my life in June. The next clip was filmed on the Children's Day and I haven't seen bubble machines for years. And now I was in the office, I was making faces, while other teachers went out to have a meeting. Now, I was going to build these blocks. Actually, it was my first time to build such a complicated one. And I asked my dad to help me to sort out the colors in order to arrange these pieces more organizedly. But I underestimated the difficulties. It was really hard. And uh, um, this was me finishing the first two steps. I needed to keep all the pieces together according to the design paper. And I finished several steps. And I was showing you guys the process. I made it to the fourth step. And then I was complaining because I wanted to finish this product as a gift to my friend. But it was too many steps. I was kind of overwhelmed, so I decided to only do the astronaut part. I started doing the base part, and actually I think the yellow part was one of the most difficult part for me, because the shape was kind of round and I needed to pull the pieces according to different layers. Sometimes I needed to split them because I made some mistakes. Uh, now you can see I was actually very impatient and I was complaining that this process was really hurting my finger because I needed to press blocks hard. It was more like a finger ache. Now I almost finished the base part. Uh, yes, that's it. 
I finished the base, and I was quite happy. Okay, it was another night of building the blocks, and now I'm finished the feed part of the astronaut. Actually, this part was quite difficult as well. Now, actually, I was doing the upper body of the astronaut, and I think this part was a comparatively easy one. Because the consecutive steps were very similar, all I needed to do was to find out all the pieces I need and put them together. Now, actually, it started to look like uh, an astronaut just outline. Half of the astronaut was completed, and uh, it started to look like the astronaut on the picture. Each day, I spent several hours in building these blocks, and now you can see. Actually, I've changed a lot of outfits. And uh, now let's take a shower. After taking a shower, I started to rebuild the blocks. Now there were fewer than ten steps to go, and I finished the helmet part of the astronaut. And now I needed to put the battery into it, and I have to cut off the battery case stuff in order to fit it onto these uh, pieces. And uh, this is what it looked like when it was lightning. And now I was so close to success. Only a few pieces left, and only two steps to go. I could finish this product. You can see I was trying so hard to put all the pieces together, and now I was making the last three pieces, trying to put them into the right place according to the design paper. And uh, I needed to use the black tool to help me. And yeah, ta-da! I made it. And I, I only needed to put it onto the base. I call it the shiny, shiny astronaut. It was cute. And now I was talking about the whole process, although it was really time-consuming. And my fingers ached. It was quite fulfilling. And the last step was to put the decoration onto the hand part of the astronaut. Okay, now let's see the final product. It almost looked like the same as this picture. The other day, I was having lunch with my parents, and I had this juice. It was lychee flavor. This was cherry twins. Really cute. This machine is more like a juicer, and actually, it has more functions. When it comes to the nail colors, I am more into the pink ones. Lux, the plane is flying. Yesterday I went to my cousin's home. They've got a large garden. It's more like a botanic garden, I believe. And it's a dog, really cute. This was my out of the day yesterday, and I was quite satisfied with my makeup and my accessories. This is me wearing the lipstick. It was really natural. Now let's enjoy the sunset for a while. And at night, I had some Sichuan cuisine, Chuan Chuan. They tasted really good. This was a sauce with garlic and oil, and this was some kind of crispy meat with a sauce. Ah, uh, this was my favorite. 
red bean bean fan or ice jelly. We've got some peanuts, some ice jelly, and some red beans in it. It was sweet, but it was okay for me. Now I was having some kind of beef dipped with some spicy sauce. Ah,、uh, it was not so spicy, and the meat was really tender and chewy. This was also my favorite one: noodles with sesame, with soy sauce, and of course some spicy sauce. But it tasted not so sweet and not so spicy. It was in moderation. This was a beef skewer, but it was hard to chew. The meat was really tough. Recently, I have been into taking a walk after dinner. It's a good way for me to unwind. And during the Dragon Boat Festival, I was taking some beautiful photos. I love them. Now it's basically the end of the video, showing you guys the beautiful clouds. It's like a fairy tale, and、uh, this is me after work. And this was a beautiful sunset. I love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye.